Welcome to the spoken tutorial on schematic creation and simulation using OSCAD. In this tutorial, we will learn to create circuit schematic, generate spice netlist, convert spice netlist to ng-spice format, and simulate the netlist. Here we will use Ubuntu Linux 12.04 and OSCAD version 1.0. To practice this tutorial, Basic knowledge of analog and digital electronics is required. To launch OSCAD, double click on the OSCAD icon on your desktop. Alternately, you can launch OSCAD by doing the following. Open the terminal window by pressing the Ctrl, Alt and T keys together. Type OSCAD on the terminal and press Enter. OSCAD window opens up. Let us now create an RC circuit schematic and simulate it. The first step is to create a new OSCAD project. Click on the project tab and then on new to create a new project. Choose the desired folder and click on OK. In the enter project name field type RC and click on OK. The OSCAD toolbar appears on screen. To create the circuit schematic, click on the first tool, that is Schematic Editor. Schematic Editor window opens up. Let me minimize the OSCAD window. Click on OK to close the Info dialog box. Add the OSCAD component libraries to your project by doing the following. Click anywhere on the Schematic Editor to select it. Click on Preferences from the top menu bar. Click on Library. Click on the first button that is Add. To select OSCAD libraries, browse to the directory where OSCAD is installed. Select the folder library. Note that all the OSCAD library names end with the word Spice. The extension of the file is .lib. Select all by pressing the keys Ctrl and A together. Click on Open. Now click on OK. Save the project by clicking on Save. Many of the components used in OSCAD belong to these libraries. For each schematic you create or edit, you should add these libraries to your project. Let us now add components to the schematic. Click on Place a Component Tool from the toolbar on the right as shown. Now click anywhere on the editor. Type R in the name field and click on OK. Place the register R on the editor by clicking on the editor once. Zoom in by pressing F1. You can also do so by scrolling the middle button of your mouse. Click again on the editor. Type C in the name field and click on OK. Place the capacitor C on the editor as done before. Place a sinusoidal voltage source by typing sign and placing it on the editor. Similarly, type G and D and place a ground terminal on editor. Type B plot 8 underscore 1 and place it on the editor. This is the plot component used to plot voltages at the required nodes. Place one more B plot 8 underscore 1 component on the editor. Let us move and arrange the components to create an RC low pass circuit. Move the resistor by placing the cursor on it and pressing the key M. Place it by clicking again. Rotate the resistor by placing the cursor on it and pressing the key R. Similarly, move the plot components as shown. Now, let us connect the various components using wires. Click on Place a wire from the right toolbar as shown. Click on one end of the sign source. Move the cursor point to one end of the resistor and click on it. Similarly, connect all the components as shown. 
The plot components are placed at the output and input nodes. This helps to view the corresponding voltage waveforms on simulation. To annotate the schematic, click on Annotate Schematic button from the menu bar. Click on Annotation, click on OK and click on Close. The schematic is now annotated. To assign value to the register, right click on it and choose Edit Component. Click on Value, type 1K and click on OK. Similarly, for capacitor, type 1U. Now, let us do electric rules check for this schematic. For this, click on Perform Electric Rules Check button from the menu bar as shown. Click on Test ERC button. We can see that there is an error that says a pin is not driven. Close the ERC window. Note that the ground terminal pin is highlighted by a green arrow in the schematic. It means that this pin is not driven by any power source. To prevent this, let us place a power flag. To do so, click on Place a Component Tool, click on the schematic editor, type PWR underscore flag and place it on the editor. Connect this power flag to the ground terminal using wire. It indicates that a power source will be connected here. Now, repeat the electric rules check. There are no errors this time. Click on close. Now let us generate the spice netlist of this circuit. Click on generate netlist button from the menu bar. Click on tab spice. Uncheck the option Prefix References U and IC with X and click on Netlist. This is required for generating a proper netlist for simulation. And click on Save. A SPICE netlist of the RC circuit has been generated. Close the schematic editor. Click on Yes to save the changes. Now let us add transient simulation parameters to this netlist. Click on Analysis Inserter from OSCAD toolbar. Click on Transient. Leave the field Start Time as it is. Make Step Time equal to 5 milliseconds by doing the following. Type 5 in the text box as shown. Choose the option MS from the drop down menu. Similarly, make the Stop Time 30 milliseconds. Click on Add Simulation Data. Go to the top left corner, click on File and choose Save. Click on Save and close the Analysis Inserter window. Let us now convert the netlist to NGSPICE format and append the analysis information to it. To do so, click on Netlist Converter from the OSCAD toolbar. This opens up a new terminal window. This window prompts the user to input the parameters for the sign source. Enter the offset value as 0 and press enter. Type 5 for amplitude, 50 for frequency, 0 for both delay time and damping factor. We can see that the NGSPICE netlist for the RC circuit has been created. The name of this netlist is rc.cir.out. We will talk about Scilab netlist in later tutorials. Press enter to quit this terminal. Click on NGSPICE from the OSCAD toolbar to simulate the netlist. This opens up a new terminal window and a plot window. The terminal window is in the NGSPICE simulation mode. The plot shows transient analysis of the circuit. The output plot is shown in blue and input plot in red. Now let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to create circuit schematic, generate SPICE netlist, convert SPICE netlist to NGSPICE format and simulate the netlist. Here is an assignment for you. Please watch the KCAD tutorial on schematic creation on Spoken Tutorial website. 
We produced the assembled multivibrator circuit schematic shown in it using OSCAD. OSCAD uses KeyCAD for schematic creation. Schematic editor in OSCAD looks the same as in KeyCAD. It corresponds to EE schema in KeyCAD. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash intro Hope you found this tutorial useful. This is Rupak and Rakhi from the Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.